Hello, my soccer universe. Let's also react to the Europa League draw, uh, which happened after the Champions League draw. And yes, a uh, whole lot more to say here. Um, here are the ties drawn, uh, shown in the order that they were drawn. Uh, and I have the seeded team always first and then the, the other team second. Um, I know they were drawn the other way around. It started out from an Austrian point of view with a bang because Spurs are going back to Austria and now they go to Wolfsburg. Easy win, I think, for uh, Spurs. Club Bruges against Dynamo Kiev is a, a duel between two Champions League teams that were rele relegated. Uh, probably a tight one. I would give Club Bruges the slight advantage given that they played a year ago in the Champions League playoff against each other. United against Real Sociedad is one of the standout ties. I think it should be all United, but you never know with United. So yeah, uh, Arsenal Benfica, another great matchup. And I, I was thinking, yes, I would say Arsenal are the fav favorites there, given how Portuguese soccer is a little bit in a tailspin. But uh, the bigger name here, despite it being Arsenal, I think that Benfica is the bigger name in European soccer, just my opinion. Another big name matchup, but not with big name uh, anymore, uh, because one team is dropping, always Milan against Cervena Svesta. Uh, that is a matchup that actually launched uh, Milan's great run in the late 80s, when um, they were a goal down, they never fought came, they had to replay the game, and Milan got through on penalties there, so that uh, gets this one up. I feel quite confident that Milan will go through, but who ever knows. Rangers against Antwerp. Um, that could have been Lusk against Ra Rangers. Tough on the call. Absolutely tough on the call for me. It's a toss-up. Leicester against Slavia should be Leicester. Then Villarreal against Salzburg. Uh, that's another really interesting one. Um, I think Salzburg has a good chance here. To be honest, we are probably slightly favorite, but they have a good chance. Roma Braga, also not that easy, although you would give Roma the nod. Zagreb against Krasnodar, very, very hard, hard to predict. I think Krasnodar. Uh, Leverkusen against the Young Boys, unfortunately for the Swiss, I think this will be all Leverkusen. Then we have Hoffenheim Molde, Hoffenheim. Another big matchup, Napoli against Granada. But given that Napoli already went past Real Sociedad, who is a better team, I think Napoli should be favored there. It should be Schachter against uh, Tel Aviv. Ajax against Lille sounds very even, but Ajax didn't have much problem last year in the Champions League to dispose Lille. So interesting there. And then another Dutch team, PSV against Olympiakos. And uh, the draw would not have been that they would have played against each other if there were no restrictions. PSV against Olympiakos, hmm, I would give the not. Oh, this is a tough one to call. This is a really tough, 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 tough one to call. Um, PSV had some struggle with Pauk. So maybe I give the nod to Olympiakos in that one. Uh, here quickly, the probabilities that I shown you last time and the draw and the matchups that were selected actually is, I think it's a rather even, uh, draw. Uh, I think it was always among the more likely results chosen. So yeah, um, here's the second page. I think just if you were interested what match matches were possible and what, and what was cho chosen, I think it was even pretty much middle of the park, uh, ra random draw, but not much to be said there. Uh, of course, the favorites have also changed and now you can also see uh, kind of the chances that, I give, that my model gives those teams. Three teams Rolls up on top, Spurs, Leverkusen and Milan. Spurs have a 93% chance to advance, uh, Leverkusen 75 and Milan an 86% chance. So that looks strong. Napoli is also a favorite. United only a small fa favorite over Real Sociedad, uh, but that's uh, hurt both of the chances, whereas Roma uh, can move up as well. I just want to look Arsenal 61% over uh, Benfica and Villarreal, uh, Salzburg as I said this will be a tight match of 53-47 and Olympiakos is favored over PSV so just mentioning it there Ajax of course also favored over Lille. We also have the matchups already confirmed here the early matchups of the first leg uh, the ones that play five minutes to seven Central Euro European time. So we have in the early slot Roma, we have Milan in there, we have the Real Sociedad United matchup in there, we have uh, Leicester and we have Spurs in there, and then uh, also Leverkusen, so there are nine games and then we have only seven in the late slot. 
Um, where we have Arsenal, uh, Befica Arsenal, uh, Granada, Naab, Napoli and Lille against Ajax and of course Salzburg against Villarreal. And then at the return legs, uh, the Spurs game has to be put on Wednesday because there are three teams, three London teams that have home games um, there. Although no, uh, Ch Ch Chelsea will not go in there, but you have to move Spurs 6, 6 o'clock. Uh, and then we have, you know, all the late games, we will have early kickoffs, so Ajax, Ars Ajax, Lille, Arsenal, Benfica, Napoli, Granada, and Villarreal, Salzburg, those are the ones that I'm most interested in. And then late kickoffs, Milan against Trevena Sesta, Roma, Braga, um, Leverkusen, Young Boys, and then you see the others, Leicester and Man United. So quite think this will be played in late February. Of course, everything can change up until then. Well. That was the Europa League draw. Let me know which matchups you're looking forward to. Uh, whether you agree with the chances given by my model, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.